Michael Jackson's sudden death at the age of 50 in 2009 left fans around the world bereft at the loss of the music great. The superstar's three children were also left mourning the very personal loss of their beloved dad. It has now been over a decade since the king of pop passed away and his kids are fully grown adults living very different lives. Michael Prince Jackson Jr. is 25, Paris Jackson is 24, and youngest son, Biggie Jackson, formerly known as Blanket, is now 20. The thriller singer welcomed Prince and Paris with second wife Debbie Rowe, who was working a dermatology nurse when they met. His third child Biggie came into the world via a surrogate, though Michael raised all three as a single parent, with the help of nurses at his infamous Neverland Ranch. After what have been the singer's 64th birthday, we take a look at what his three children are up to now. Michael Joseph Prince Jackson Jr. Prince was born to the thriller singer and Debbie Rowe, a dermatology nurse and Michael's second wife. Michael and Debbie had been married just six months when they discovered they were expecting their first child. The pair were married for just two years, but remained on good terms after their split. Debbie took around $10 million in the divorce settlement and gave Michael the full custody rights to her children, she only discovered she was pregnant with their second child, Paris Jackson, months after the breakup. In 2006 Debbie applied to have access to her children reinstated and came to an agreement with her ex-husband. Just three years later, when Prince was 12 years old, Michael died. After being raised by his late father's family in the wake of the tragedy, Prince continued with his studies and graduated from Loyola Marymount University in 2019 with a degree in business. It was at university that Prince met his girlfriend Molly Skirmong, who he has been with for the last four years. Unlike a lot of celebrity offspring, Prince turned his back on his father's musical footsteps, admitting I don't have the voice for singing. And I can't dance. However, he did take an interest in the entertainment industry behind the camera. I'm looking to become well-rounded as a producer, director, screenwriter and actor," he told Entertainment Tonight. He directed his sister Paris' music video for her band The Sound Flowers. In recent years Prince has also turned his attention to charity work through the Heal Los Angeles Foundation, which seeks to support inner-city youth through educational initiatives and healthy meals. Earlier this month, Prince gave a very rare interview about his late father in which he spoke about how he tried to shield them from his fame. Prince said he and his siblings had little seeds growing up and growing older that their dad was someone special until a single aha moment changed everything. I saw that people would follow us around, he told Fox Soul, people would just want to reach out and touch my dad. But it was really when I was around 10 or 11, when I was watching a video of my father performing. He was performing outside, and you see this sea of people. There were people fainting in the audience, and I asked my dad, why are people fainting? I see you every day and I don't faint. That had that resonation that people really loved my father. Paris Jackson Paris Michael Catherine Jackson was born on April 3, 1998, and named after the city where she was conceived. Jackson's first daughter was then given some very famous godparents in Elizabeth Taylor and Macaulay Culkin. She went on to chase fame herself and went on to become an aspiring actor, model and singer after her father's death. Paris starred on TV series Star and Scream, in the movie Gringo and signed to IMG Models. 
Despite some career highs, Paris has also been open about her struggles with substance abuse and self-harm. In a 2020 interview with NPR, Paris said she had to come to the realize that people would always judge and she couldn't make everyone happy. It took a really long time for me to finally get to a point where I'm like, okay, well, can't please everyone. If I go left, I'm wrong. If I go right, I'm wrong. So I might as well just be myself. Paris admitted she had tried many times to take her own life and said she used self-harm to distract from her emotional pain. She is now one half of musical duo The Soundflowers, where she performs under the alias Park Dragonfly. During an appearance on the Red Table Talk in June, Paris opened up about her sexuality and said it's not something she can address with the Jackson family. My family is very religious. Homosexuality is just very taboo so we don't like to talk about it, she said, mentioning she was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Paris said she is still figuring out how she identifies. On the 8th anniversary of Jackson's death in 2017, Paris unveiled a tattoo tribute to her late dad. She had the word Applehead inked on her foot and as she shared the photo to Instagram, wrote alongside it, With every step I take, you lift my foot and guide me forward. She ended the message with the words love you and an apple emoji. Paris has since had several tribute to her father inked on her body, including a recreation of the cover of his 1991 album Dangerous on her forearm. Prince Michael Biggie Jackson to the youngest of the Jackson children Biggie, previously known as Blanket, has avoided the limelight more so than his older siblings. Biggie does not have a pubic social media presence, but has appeared on Prince and Paris Instagram pages before. In February 2020, Paris shared a string of snaps of her little bro and wrote My little brother is a legal adult today. What the F. I used to change his diapers. This is such a trip. Proud of the handsome, intelligent, insightful, funny, and kind young man he has become. He likes privacy so that's all I gotta say. HBD Lil Bro. A month later it was reported that Biggie had purchased a $2. 6 million mansion in Calabasas, California, a popular haunt for privacy-seeking celebs. Biggie has also been a huge supporter of his older brother and sister. He attended Prince's graduation in 2019 and Paris revealed how much he has supported her music career. Speaking to Good Morning America in, the singer shared, I've always looked up to him and always wanted his approval and everything, and wanted to be more like him. So to hear him approve, not just approve but enjoy what I do, it's everything to me, 